Uh, my name is Michael Freeman. This is my wife, Kenyana Freeman. Uh, we have a 10 year old son. Well, he'll be 10. He's nine right now. His name is Maxwell Freeman. And our daughter is six, and her name is Lilia Freeman. Well, we go to Harvest Church, which is Faith Academy, is Harvest Church's school. And so it just was a natural thing for us to put them in that environment. Mm -hmm. And we have family that went there. My sister and brother, they went there when they were little. And I just see the great job it did in them. And so it was just like it was. It was a no-brainer for us. Both of us growing up in the uh, public school system, Kansas, Missouri School District, uh, we've seen just a few generations of kids, uh, the routes that they go, uh, just by the schools that they attend, the friends that they make, the friends that they don't make. Um, but at Faith Academy, you can tell that there's a spiritual covering, and it, uh, it benefits them tremendously uh, in ways that a lot of people outside looking in wouldn't really know. Um, it seems that everywhere that our kids go, it's like they're favored. Mm -hmm. um, they're noticed. It's just like people just see them and they just smile. I mean, it's just like a, it's like the world is drawn to them. So it's like the light is shining wherever they go. And I think that's a big reason why, because of Faith Academy and the covering, the prayers that have been put out uh, by our founder, uh, Bishop Steve Howe and the First Lady, Dr. Donna Howe, um, it's just constant prayers going on. I mean, people that have been in and out of that school throughout, throughout the years have just really covered that school with um, wanting our kids to, to, to make a difference in our community. Um, well, I know for me, I love the fact that I feel like with my, my kids, they can just do so many different things. Like <clears throat> with music, the band, they started my really early with music and band, with the arts, you know, they're constantly having productions and plays. You know, they teach them how to do public speaking at an early age. The kids go swimming at the YMCA, so they can just do so many things. So I think that's the benefit of going the private route versus the public route because they can do so many more things at a public school. So I enjoy that part of it. My son was part of a uh, oh, robotics yeah. team this year, and they started meeting probably October, November part of a robotics team. We, we didn't have robotics in school growing up, so it was like, either. what is this, what's going on? <laughs> but they actually went to Houston, Texas in April and competed against kids from all over the world. In the first, well not first grade, from third, fourth, and fifth grade, those kids were so excited to go out of town without their parents, competing against kids that they've never seen, different races, different nationalities. So that was a big bonus, just to, to expose them to something that they probably wouldn't be exposed to going to a public school, so that was a good thing to take advantage of being a part of Faith Academy. Perfect. I think that just the public school system itself saw the change when they took prayer out of school. I know I was a part of the, you know, I could just see the difference, and so I think that it's, it goes hand in hand, you know, with spirituality and with your education, and so when you have those two together, it's just even more dynamic. I think you shouldn't separate the two. Just so much so much going on in the world today. Um, people need the spirituality side of it more than ever. I mean, Jesus Christ is what keeps us. Um, the God covering keeps us. The God factor is what keeps the kids uh, favored. It makes them stand out. So I'm thinking that the more that they try to take God out of, out of the schools, the, the worse things will get. I mean, you, you're seeing everything going on from the, from the school shootings and I mean, it's no accident that that kind of stuff is happening. That they've been trying to take God out of their schools for the past, you know, 10, 15 years, trying to take one nation under God out of the, you know, out of the pledges and things like that. It's just, it's not the time for that. You know, I think we need to refocus um, on what's really important and not try to just please everyone, and just really stay focused on the one, and that's God. We have another one on the way, uh, another baby girl, and most likely she'll be in Faith Academy. Um, start them off in the nursery. At an early age, I mean, six weeks, two months old, three months old, you know, the, the, the people who work in the nursery are praying over them and, you know, speaking life into them and encouraging them. And there's no down talk. There's no, you know, shut your mouth and things like that. It's just a, it's just an encouraging, an encouraging school that, that, that spreads the love of Christ. And it puts it in, in, in your kids at an early age and it just gives you a greater head start, I believe. And with the different programs they do have there, it, it keeps them well rounded. Like you said, with the aquaponics, with the, the garden. And I think they had a chef come in and taught them how to make some different dishes. So I just, I know from our kids, we see how they're well rounded. Like my daughter, 
her teacher a couple of years ago, she came home and was teaching me about manners, you know, that she <laughs> learned from school. And so I think, you know, it's, and there's a level of safety too that's there kind of, off, but there's, you feel safe. And that means a lot, you know, to a parent. Yeah, as far as music, um, they teach the kids how to play music at an early age, but also the kind of music that's being put in them at school. They have praise and worship just about every day. And just listening to my kids when they're just walking around the house, the kind of songs that they're singing, I mean, How Great Is Our God, and you know, Tasha Cobb's music, and just all these different Christian artists are being put into their spirit, and that's what's coming out of them instead of the you know, the mumble, hip hop, rap. And I mean, we, we know that music and we hear it, you can't get away from it, but it's just what's being put into them is just so important at an early age because they're so impressionable. So we, we like that what they're being fed there is just very, very important as opposed to just letting your kids just see and listen and do anything at, at public schools. I'm pretty sure what's going on right now. I would say that you definitely will see the results at an early age and you will feel like that. I know the motto is training up leaders to impact generations. And I know I can, we can only speak from experience with our kids. I do feel like I have future leaders in my house, just how they carry themselves. My son walks with his chest up and my daughter, she's a girl, but she walks with her head up. So I think that, you know, that, that your child is developing into a leader just by going to Faith Academy because it allows them to be themselves and to express themselves. Um, along the same lines of, of, of what she was saying as far as the training up leaders to impact generations, uh, our bishop, our founder, he um, is really proud of the fact that the school is 25 plus years old now. 25, 26 years old. Yeah, something like that. Maybe 28, something, something like that. Something around there. Yeah. It's, but he, yeah. he boasts in the fact and he's proud of the fact that every, every kid that's graduated from Faith Academy, not one has went to jail. Oh, yeah. Not one has went to jail. Yeah. There's no, you know, going to see anybody in prison. There's no court hearings that need to be presided to. I mean, it's just that they're 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 being uh, fashioned. They're being cultivated in a way that you know that they're solid. You don't have to worry about your kid when they're there. They're safe. Uh, the word of God is being put into them each and every day. Um, it may be a sacrifice because it is a private school and it does cost, but the result out of that sacrifice will just pay dividends just time in and time out. So if you're thinking about it, if you're kind of on the edge, I encourage you to look more into Faith Academy, um, see what all it has to offer, because it's just the beginning. Um, it's here to stay, and it's gonna do nothing to get better. Uh, we're seeing the benefits of it, my wife and I, and we're just proud that our kids are Faith Academy Lions.